Alright, this is step six of how to solve a Rubik's Cube. What you should have at this point is a top yellow face which is completed and is one solid color. And you should also have two bottom layers which are also complete. This is the second to last step, so there's only one step after this, so we're almost there. Um, what this step is going to do is it's going to reposition these four top corner pieces so that they're in the correct orientation. And the algorithm which we're going to use is right counterclockwise, front clockwise, right counterclockwise, back 180, right clockwise, front counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back 180, and right 180. And it's a relatively longer algorithm than previous steps, so it might be a good idea to write it down or to just um, pause and possibly rewind the video to go back and watch closely as I go through the steps on the actual cubes. Okay, so in order to actually perform the algorithm, what we need to do is assign a right a front and a back um, face because those are the three faces which are used in the algorithm so what you want to first do is you want to look around the cube on the top layer here you want to look for two adjacent corners which have the same color so these don't have the same color this one's blue and this one's red you don't want to pay attention to this top layer edge piece because that has nothing to do with this algorithm so if we look around, these two are also different. It's red and orange. And these two are also different. If you look at these two, though, they are the same. So when you find two adjacent corner pieces which have the same color, those corner pieces designate this face as the back face. So this would be the back face, this would be the front face, and this would be the right face in this case. Now, if you're looking at your cube and you don't find two adjacent corner pieces which have the same color, well, this cube also, if you look around, it also doesn't have two adjacent corner pieces which have the same color. So, in that case, um, you can designate any one of these side faces as the front or the back face or the right face. It does not matter. So, let's go through the steps and try the algorithm out. Let's do it first on the cube that does not have two adjacent corner pieces which have the same color. Okay, so if we perform that move, so it doesn't matter which side you designate as the back or the front, so let's just designate this as the front and this as the back. So if we do that move, which is right counterclockwise, front clockwise, right counterclockwise, back 180 degrees, right clockwise, front counterclockwise, right counterclockwise, back 180 degrees, and right 180 degrees. What you'll then notice if you turn the cube around is that there are now two adjacent corner pieces which have the same color. In this case they're orange. Okay, so if we take the other cube now and we look at these two adjacent corner pieces which have the same color, these are going to design be designated uh, as the back face now, as I said before. So if I turn this around, this would be the front face then, because that's the back face, and this is the right face. So if we perform that move again, right counterclockwise, front clockwise, right counterclockwise, back face 180 degrees, right face clockwise, front face counterclockwise, right face counterclockwise, back face 180 degrees, and right face 180 degrees. Now if you look at the cube, you can see that one side is actually totally finished. This side 
is now in the proper orientation as far as the corners are concerned and so are these two sides. Now it doesn't always happen that you have a complete side um, after you finish this move. This might actually have a different edge piece here. So all four sides might have um, what looks like this face or this face. So if we perform it with the other cube right face counterclockwise, front face clockwise, right face counterclockwise, back face 180, right face clockwise, front face counterclockwise, right face counterclockwise, back face 180, and right face 180. And we look around, we also have the same thing. So we have a complete side, and we also have three f sides which are not finished. Okay, so once you have something that looks like this, or even if you have a different edge piece in this position, you're ready to move on to the final step.